Hello and welcome to Peak Experiences. The purpose of this Autoblade video is to provide you with the information necessary to use the devices in a manner that meets the manufacturer's recommendations. Before we begin, it's important to know and understand that climbing is dangerous. There are many unforeseen and inherent risks involved in climbing that can result in injury or death. Make sure to review the rules of our gym as well as the posted warning signs located at the front of our facility. Let's begin with some basic rules. The Autoblade systems are designed to be used by one climber at a time, weighing between 25 and 300 pounds. Anyone age 16 or older must complete a test at the end of this video in order to be considered certified on these devices. Anyone age 15 or younger can still use our Autoblades. They just must be clipped in and supervised for the duration of the climb by someone who is 16 or older and certified on the Autoblades. Now let's take a look at our Autoblade systems. The Autoblay system used at Peak Experiences are specifically designed for the climbing industry. Once the system is attached correctly to the climber's harness and they begin climbing, the system retracts the webbing to keep it tight. After the climber reaches the top of the wall and lets go, or in the event of a fall, the system will engage and lower the climber back down to the ground at a controlled rate. Anyone using one of our Autoblays must be wearing a harness in a manner recommended by the manufacturer. If you have any questions about the harness, please see a Peak staff member. Once your harness is on correctly, check again to ensure it is snug around your hips and all buckles are correctly tightened. Next, find an audible route you would like to climb. First, test the line to make sure it is working properly by pulling down on the webbing and releasing it. If the webbing does not retract, notify a staff member immediately and do not climb on that audible. You'll begin by detaching the carabiner from the gate by sliding the outside chamber down and then twisting. Remove the carabiner from the gate and attach it directly to the harness. If the harness has a belay loop, attach the carabiner directly to that loop. Never attach the carabiner to a non-weight-bearing point, such as a gear loop, chalk bag belt, or belt loop. It is suggested that you perform a buddy check to ensure proper setup. Ask a staff member, or anyone certified on the Autoblaze, to check you before you begin. You can now climb on any route that has the Autoblaze label on the tag. When you're done climbing, look down before letting go to ensure the area beneath you is free of objects and people. Once you know it is clear, sit back and let go. Keep your arms and feet in front of you to prevent contact with holds or the wall on the way down. The auto belay will now lower you at a controlled rate until you reach the ground. When you are back on the ground, detach the carabiner from your harness and clip it back to the gate before moving on to the next climb. Here are some helpful tips to remember. Stick to the routes labeled with the auto belay tags. Do not switch routes mid-climb. Doing so may cause you to climb too far right or left, resulting in a pendulum and could cause damage to the device or injury to yourself or others nearby. Do not climb if there is slack in the system or if the webbing is not retracting. If at any point you notice something wrong with an auto blaze system, notify a staff member immediately. Avoid using bolt hangers, carabiners, or quick draws while climbing. Understand that holds can spin or break at any time. If you encounter a spinning or broken hold, avoid climbing on it and alert a staff member immediately. Do not try to fix it yourself. Helmets are available upon request. Peak will provide a helmet to participants free of charge. You may seek guidance from Peak staff regarding the equipment or activities at any time. The climbing helmets provided are designed to mitigate overhead impacts only and do not guarantee your safety. If you choose to wear a helmet, be sure to keep your head tilted away from the wall. This will help keep the helmet and strap away from any potential snares. We have taken preventative measures to remind you to clip in. They are located on each auto belay wall. However, in the event you have failed to clip in, Climb down slowly, only if you are comfortable doing so. If you are not able to do so, yell to draw attention to yourself. Yell louder and move into a restful position until a staff member arrives to assist you. Remember, climbing is dangerous. It is your responsibility to use all equipment correctly and to seek out qualified instruction. Make informed decisions and always be aware of your surroundings. If you have any questions about the risks, your responsibilities, or anything else at Peak Experiences, please see a Peak staff member. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. You have now successfully completed the Peak Autoblade course. Please see a staff member for your final test.